Today we will be going back 20 million years to visit one of the most phenomenal beasts to ever roam Earth's waters. The Megalodon was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish to ever exist. Estimates suggest it grew to between 15 and 18 meters in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. With intense research and deep studying, we have uncovered all the truths about the most mysterious fish known throughout history. Join us today as we go into every detail about the Megalodon. Scientists from Zurich University have proposed the largest shark that ever lived became extinct due to the lack of prey and increased competition from predators. Others believe that they are still lurking in the depths. And it's only a matter of time until we see one in the flesh. The Megalodon was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist. Estimates suggest it grew to between 15 and 18 meters in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. Surprising to some, fossil megalodon teeth are relatively common fossils in many areas of the world. Like other sharks, the megalodon lost its teeth as it grew. They became worn or broken. Even though most megalodon tooth findings are common, the bigger teeth can be sold for up to $50,000. These triangular shaped teeth are specifically designed to kill any prey. Some sharks can actually have as many as 15 rows of teeth in each jaw. Bull shark has as many as 50 rows of teeth. On average, sharks can lose at least one tooth each week of their life. These devilish sea creatures lived in a world in which we call Pangaea to this day. It was a very different form to the world we live in today, and the waters were free to roam. The sharks would leave telltale bite marks on other large marine animals and their huge teeth would continue littering the ocean floors in their tens of thousands. Not to mention that as a warm water species, Megalodon would not be able to survive in the cold waters of the deep. Or would it? For a long time, scientists believed the Megalodon's closest relative was that of the great white shark. In fact, the two species likely even lived at the same time. Modern scientific studies have shown that the Megalodon was more closely related to an ancestor of the Mako sharks. A 2016 clip referred to by the Daily Star and believed to have been filmed in the Mariana Trench appears to show an enormous shark scouring the sea floor. The huge creature is recorded as it swims over the top of what looks like an abandoned shark cage. The clip was uploaded to YouTube in 2016, but has re-emerged on social media after Jason Statham's new film released. Clocking up 165,000 views in just over a week, one comment read, They're real. They really are real. Megalodon had a diet befitting an apex predator, feasting on the prehistoric whales that swam the Earth's oceans during the Pliocene and Miocene epochs, but also chowing down on dolphins, squid, fish, and even giant turtles. So Megalodon was huge, relentless, and the apex predator of the Pliocene and Miocene epochs. What went wrong? Well, this giant shark may have been doomed by global cooling which culminated in the last ice age. It may sound like a monster from a horror movie, but Megalodon was a real shark. And it really did exist in our world's oceans at one time. We all know how dangerous a great white shark is. And in Megalodon, we imagine a shark with the same instincts and ferocity, but much, much larger. It's no wonder this amazing shark has sparked the curiosity of so many people.
Megalodon dwarfed its living cousin, the Great White. In size and weight, scientists say that the Great White actually looked pretty similar, with both possessing large teeth and a blunt snout. If you picture a Megalodon as a 50 foot, 16 meter Great White, you're well on your way to what this animal was probably like. For reasons that are still unclear, the Megalodon went extinct 2 million years ago. One hypothesis said is that the Megalodon was unable to adapt to changing ocean conditions. The Megalodon thrived during a time when the Earth's oceans were generally much warmer and conditions were much more uniform. Schiffman worries that fear could have a chilling effect on shark conservation programs. There's a lot of people who now say, because they saw it on Discovery Channel, that Megalodons are real and we have to launch a campaign to protect humans against killing sharks. As we wrap up this video, please let us know your thoughts and opinions on the Megalodon, whether it's real or whether it's not. Thanks for watching the episode. There is more to come in the future. Please like, subscribe for more content.